Slide 1. AMPA is the annual meeting of the Provincial Assembly. It is the Provincial Annual General Meeting. Delegations who represent a variety of job classes and geographical regions, chairs of committees, Provincial Executive, Secretariat and guests attend AMPA. We meet annually to establish and amend Federation policies, procedures, bylaws, constitutions, budgets, the Annual Strategic Action Plan, pass motions, adopt the OSSTF FASO budget, and biennially electing the Provincial Executive and the Ontario Teachers Federation OTF Board of Governors. AMPA is the supreme legislative body that allows our organization to bring together diverse voices of the membership from across the province. Slide 2. Let's start by learning where to find all of the documents that we will be discussing. When you go to the provincial website, click on the AMPA wrap icon and then select the Cvent link. Slide 3. Once you click on Cvent, you will be brought to this screen. You can see that there are lots of information tabs to help you. We are going to focus on a couple together. Slide 4. Please click on each of the information tabs and review the material listed. Slide 5. There are several volumes that contain very important AMPA information. Volume 1, General Information. Volume 2, Resolutions and AMPA Procedural Guidebook. Volume 3, Reports. These are found under the corresponding tabs at the top of the AMPA Cvent page. At AMPA, you will receive a printed copy of Volumes 2 and 3. Slide 6. There are several important documents that make participating in AMPA easier. We will go into detail on some of the following listed on screen. You can find all of these documents on the CVENT site except the cons and files and PMPs which you can download from the provincial website. This will help you understand what changes are happening to these documents. If you like, you can keep them minimized on your screen during the meetings or use as a reference guide as you read over the motions found in Volume 2. Volume 2 contains all of the on-time motions being presented at AMPA. They are often referred to as the greens because when we are in person, they are printed on green paper. There is a lot of paper at AMPA, so you will see that we use different colored paper to keep track. The resolutions are organized by what type of motions they are. For example, all of the cons, motions amending the articles of our constitution and bylaws are together. The resolutions are put together alphabetically by type of motion, and then they are sequenced by steering. Volume 3 contains all of the reports. It is very helpful to set aside some time prior to AMPA to read over the electronic versions of the reports provided here. Not all reports are spoken to at AMPA, so please read these over to find out what's happening with our provincial councils and committees. Let's move on now to the agenda, sequencing sheet, and AMPA procedural guidebook. Slide 7. A copy of the agenda will be provided to you at the meeting. The agenda gets approved at the beginning of the meeting. The agenda is amendable when it first hits the floor. Amendments require a 50% in favor vote count. Once the agenda is approved, if the agenda needs to be revised, it is a two-thirds vote count. Key information. Any agenda item with a single hashtag is a timed item which means it interrupts the meeting at the time specified, and a double hashtag is a priority timed item, which interrupts even a timed item. Reports that are specifically designated to be presented at AMPA are on the agenda, and resolutions attached to the reports are called for by the speaker once the report is given. Between each timed item, the speaker will call for resolutions following the sequencing sheet. Election speeches and voting are also timed items on the agenda. 
Slide 8. The sequencing sheet is a very important document. It will help you follow the flow of the meeting. Across the top, you will find a list of any timed motion items on the agenda, as well as a list of withdrawn motions. Then, reports that are designated to be presented at AMPA are listed in bold, and underneath that is the list of related resolutions. When you see square brackets, it means that those resolutions will be considered on block, which means they will all be considered at one time. Blocks are put together based on topic, not motion type. Then you will see budget and cost estimates. These go next because according to our bylaws, the budget must get passed at AMPA, so the Finance Committee needs to know which of these motions pass and fail. Budget and cost items are noted with a B. Then you will see all of the other motions sequenced, including motions to amend our documents and action items. This sheet gets updated each day. Please note this sample is not this year's sequencing sheet, just a sample from a previous year. Slide 9. A main motion presents new business. It can be a change in constitutional language or in action. It must be actionable and legal. Slide 10. Here is a pretend motion to help us break down the format of OSSTF FASO motions. Format of a motion. MAC 202-23, District 99. One half. Cost $25,000. Be it resolved that AMPA 2023 direct the Provincial Executive to install Keurig copy machines in each district office. Slide 10. Continued. MAC 203-23. References the type of motion. In this case, a miscellaneous action. It was the second MAC on-time motion that was received. The submitting body is District 99. The vote count is one half. While not all motions have cost estimates, this one does at $25,000. All motions start with, be it resolved that. Slide 11, part one. Here is a motion that was approved at AMPA 2022. CON 208-22. District 16, York, TOTBU, two-thirds. Be it resolved that Article 10.3 be amended by substitution to read 10.3, there shall be a bargaining unit executive consisting of, at minimum, the President, Treasurer or Secretary Treasurer, Equity and Anti-Racism, Anti-Oppression Officer, and Chief Negotiator. The executive may also include additional members as determined by the bargaining unit constitution. Slide 11, part two. This motion is a con, which means it is amending the constitutional articles. It was received on time, therefore in the 200 series, and it was the eighth one to be received and sequenced. The submitting body was District 16. It required a two thirds vote count. There was no cost. The be it resolved that statement shows that amendment to the articles being Put forward. Slide 12. When a motion is out of order, a box stating the rationale is put at the top of the motion. If you do not see a box at the top of the motion, the motion is in order. Here are the reasons for a motion to be ruled out of order. It is contrary or redundant to an existing OSSTF Basel provincial article, bylaw, policy or procedure. It refers to an OSSTF FASO provincial article, bylaw, policy, or procedure that does not exist. It is the same or similar to a motion already dealt with by the Assembly. If it is an amendment, it would change the intent too significantly. If it is illegal or inactionable. Slide 13. Here is an example from AMPA 2022. The out-of-order box is found at the top of the motion, 
and in this case, it lets the house know that CON 208 and BILE 222 are very similar, so if the first one passes, the second motion will not be in order because it would be redundant. Slide 14. This procedure motion, called a PROC, is found in Volume 2. PROC 202 is the set of rules we use at AMPA. We have a special PROC because we have particular things that need to be accomplished at AMPA that are different than other meetings. PROC 202 is passed at the beginning of the meeting. Until it is passed, we rely on the rules of order. PROC 202 is also amendable. Anytime we are looking at standing rules, two-thirds of the House must be in favour. Slide 15. All delegates and alternates are encouraged to participate in debate. Even if this is your first AMPA, please consider participating in debate. Participation cards are found at the end of each table. Each card has debate instructions on them. For example, you will use the green card to speak in favour of a motion while using a pink card to raise a point of consideration. To speak at the mic, please follow these steps. Select the card you wish to speak upon. Choose a line and raise the card clearly so the spotter who keeps track of who is speaking next can see it. When it is your turn, state your name and district. Add your pronouns if you would like. Explain your intention at the microphone. For example, I would like to speak in favour of the motion. Slide 16. Check the sequencing sheet to get a sense of where we are heading in the meeting. Match the motion on the sequencing sheet to that in your resolution package. In debate, we hear from a variety of perspectives. The rotation is in favour, in opposition, procedures and questions, points of consideration. Let's start with in favour and in opposition. The mover opens debate and speaks in favour of the resolution. They often outline the rationale for putting this motion before AMPA. As you listen to the mover of the motion, consider their points. Do you agree? Disagree? You will then hear a delegate speaking in opposition to the motion. Again, as you listen, consider their points. If you would like to join the debate, think about what points you would like to use in your arguments, and remember you have 90 seconds. There is a timing system and you will see the lights on the screen to let you know when a third of your time has passed. Slide 17. We then move to procedures and questions. Think of this as a multi-purpose mic. You can ask a question to the mover about the motion or you can ask a question to the speaker about something procedural. Also, we have lots of motions that can be applied to what is called the main motion, the motion on the floor. For example, you can amend it, refer it, postpone it, go into executive session, call the question. All of these options are explained in the table, which is in PROC 202 and in the Rules of Order. Any time it says, can be applied to a main motion, it means you can raise it using procedures and questions. Slide 18. A point of consideration card is used to make a statement through an equity, anti-racism and or anti-oppression lens, or to make a statement that relates to the integrity, rights or privileges of an individual or the assembly collectively. Points of consideration are not used to speak in favour or in opposition to the motion on the floor. Slide 19. If a member is concerned that the rules of order have been breached, they can ask a question of order and or challenge the ruling of the speaker. The procedure for challenging a ruling is explained on the slide and is also found on the point of order card. Slide 20. Members cannot vote unless they are wearing a voting badge. Each voting member will cast their votes using the provided AMPA voting clickers. Clickers must not leave the house and are only to be used by the individual holding the matching voting credential tag. Slide 21. There are lots of opportunities to learn about AMPA before the event starts. Please participate in our live trainings, read all of the handouts provided, and watch the recordings. Locally, 
meet with your delegation leader and ask any questions you would like. At AMPA, the Parliamentary Help Desk is staffed by members of the Speaker Bank who are available to answer any questions you have about AMPA procedures and to help you with motions. The Resolutions Desk is staffed by members who are part of the Parliamentary and Constitution Council who will help you craft motions. You can also ask parliamentary questions to the Speaker directly. Slide 22. To prepare, please review training materials, read over the reports in Volume 3, read over the motions in Volume 2 and make notes, read PROC 202 carefully, review any election material, review AMPA procedural guidebook in Volume 2. Slide 23. Make sure you have the following on the table with you at AMPA. Greens. Volume 2, on-time motions. Yellows, motions submitted after the on-time deadline. Agenda. Sequencing sheet, pink. Copy of the Rules of Order and PROC 202. Remember, even if you are not the voting member on the floor, you may sit in the gallery and watch AMPA. Slide 24. If you have any questions prior to AMPA, please contact your delegation leader and or the AMPA coordination team available at ampa at ostf.ca.